What is up guys, Expert Design here, and I have something special for you guys. I have 5 Photoshop tips every beginner needs to know in Photoshop. So the first tip is gonna be an easy one, but a lot of people forget about this. Unlock your first layer. Like do not know that they have to unlock a layer or a certain layer. Just go to the little lock icon and click on it. Just click on it once and it's unlocked. It's that easy. That's one of the first tips. The second tips are some shortcuts three of them exactly the first shortcut is is how to duplicate a layer just press ctrl j and you have duplicated that specific layer that you're on gotta select the layer that you want and ctrl j it. then i want to tell you another uh, another one uh, another shortcut ctrl e is merging two layers together also really handy just select both layers and just press ctrl e or otherwise right clicking on the layers this is a real pain in the butt. And then you have the helplines. Just with Ctrl R you have some top bar, left bar. You drag it from the left or from, from the top. And you have some helplines. Really handy if you want to make sure everything is in the middle. If you can see, uh, when you go to if you go to the middle, it snaps. Uh, Photoshop automatically snaps to the middle. Then you know that's the middle. Then the third tip is you can customize your Photoshop. I know a lot of people don't know this. Um, you can change the color of the background you can change it to white gray and you can have a custom color you can customize the back of your photoshop and sometimes if you have like a nice color in the background we have something different it's not just the normal basic photoshop and the fourth tip is yes camera or off filter just let me get a recent work i've done this recent work for a guy if you want work if you want a banner like this just contact me on twitter or instagram there are between 20 and 15 euros and just just contact me there uh, so camera raw filter is one of the most handiest things you will ever need in Photoshop. You can change everything with it. You can change the brightness, the exposure, the contrast. It is really a lifesaver in some for some banners if you think that the color doesn't pop out um, most of the times. If you want me, uh, uh, if you want a more full detailed um, like explanation on camera raw filter and want to make a full video out of it, let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, um, just play with it, see what fits more. You also have some presets. You can download presets easily on Google. Just search some um, Photoshop camera raw filter presets. And you have some nice presets out there. Uh, I, I, I sometimes use presets on my banners or posters because sometimes they look really nice. Then we have the, the last tip is the fifth tip is selecting a background. Like everyone is saying how do I select my background perfectly and if I don't want to use the pen tool you can always use um, quick select tool and if you uh, I'll show you how it, I, I use it sometimes I don't use it in in this situation in this banner let me get something that I can use it on first you gotta select something um, so I'm gonna just select uh, this person you click on this little icon here in the bottom left and you can see everything that is red is not selected and everything that is just colored in is selected now if you take a brush and go with a white color over the thing everything is going to be everything that is red is going to be colored in now there you go you can and you have like if you have custom brushes and you can select something with the custom brush and everything if i go out of this now you can see it's selected so this is really handy in my opinion if you have like a brush that you think oh maybe if i could cut this out like this and you can just do it like that you select something then select something then click this little icon quick mask and you can brush everything away that you like and brush everything back if you use the color black and then use a brush you can color everything back in see you can have like a nice effect and then you go back to the quick mask and then you have something like this and then if you don't press delete that you select it is gone so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this five photoshop tips for beginners thank you guys for watching leave a like do more fun and always see you guys in the next one peace